Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jenny AI Vlog. So I'm very excited to share this episode with you guys because OpenAI just released another open source model. There are two versions, right? It's a GPT OSS 20B and also 120B. So uh, these are frontier models, they're open weight. Uh, so I'm excited to jump into the code to show you guys how I will go about it in terms of fine tuning these model. So uh, first thing I try is obviously go to Colab. I have an actually free version because I want to see how far I can go about it. But I was actually blocked here in terms of the model, right? I can't even load the model because the memory just straightforward blows up. So unfortunately, I cannot do it here unless I pay a monthly subscription. Uh, so I decided to not go with Colab. And then I went with wrong part. So on wrong part, I actually is able to get uh, H200 GPU and I was able to uh, get four of those. Uh, this is the image. Uh, so this gives me the infrastructure I needed uh, to pretty much design my project. So this is how it looks like once I'm in the Python notebook uh, in the Jupyter lab. Here uh, I have a terminal window that I already finished training. Uh, let me show you the code a little bit. On a high level, what we need is uh, these couple of scripts on the left-hand side. So uh, first thing we need is the training deepspeed.python script, uh, and then that's here. Uh, this script on a high level, uh, it's very similar to the previous code that we talked about. Um, we're going to authenticate hugging face because we're going to load model, push model there, import a couple of important packages, uh, and then we're going to load the data, initialize tokenizer, right? Uh, load the model, and then uh, we can then uh, pretty much run the inference. Uh, so that's the inference, right? That gives you all the basic setup uh, so that you can have a model and you can start running it. Uh, and then on top of that, you want to fine tune, right? So here, the strategy that I went by is to use LoRa. Uh, so LoRa stands for Low Ranking Adapter, uh, PEP standing for parameter efficient fine tuning. And so PEF is the package, LoRa is a strategy. Uh, so I load that up, that's the configuration. Uh, and then that pretty much gets me at a good spot. Now, what I'm also gonna do is to use multiple GPUs, right? Uh, because here uh, we talked about just now in this wrong pod instance, I have four GPUs, great. I want to be able to utilize those. So uh, that's why here I also have the uh, DS config, right? That stands for deep speed configuration file. And then the file is here, right? The file is here. And you can even set up a TensorBoard uh, to track the logs, things like that. Uh, so after that, we are pretty much ready to go. Uh, we can then load up the SFT trainer and then you can go ahead and start it, right? Uh, once you finish training, then you can of course save the model to Hugging Face. Uh, so that's what's going on here. That's what's going on in the script. Uh, and then last but not least, you want to evaluate the model, uh, which basically means you merge the weight, right? You merge the weight. Uh, well, after you merge the weight, you run another inference. Done, right? It's a very straightforward process. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, uh, tweaks and turns here and there, right? It's a very straightforward process. Uh, and then uh, this script is here uh, along with the uh, uh, DS configuration and then you just need those scripts right and then uh, in the end we're going to make our life a little bit more easier right we're going to have a nice python script to allow us to parsing different arguments uh control the gpus uh whatever script you want to do right that's what the script is you can call a different name if you have different updates you can call a different name set up the hf token uh, so i can give the script to somebody else and they can run it themselves right um so we're going to make everything kosher. We're going to make everything easy. Uh, and then last but not least is we can physically run it. Uh, so once you run it, uh, you're going to see uh, this kind of setup. Uh, this is to load up the weight and then essentially to train it, right? Uh, so I started with a loss of 1.86 and a mean token accuracy of 59%. And then I got it all the way to 64%. That is the next to run. Uh, so that actually finished up uh, Epoch 1. Uh, and then I think I tried it one more time. Did I try one more time? Uh, no, I actually just tried it twice. Um, and then I got the performance up to 64%, uh, and that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to try a larger run, uh, and then we're going to see how it works, and then I'll update the results on the internet. Uh, but uh, hopefully we can see this performance picking up to 
perhaps 90%, 95%, something like that. So after this is done, obviously we're gonna push everything to hugging phase, right? And then uh, this is the model card that I just did. Uh, the weights are here. If you go to files, the weights are here. Great, so that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.